Cooking pans and baking tins are usually made from metal, typically iron, steel, stainless steel, copper or aluminium. When we heat a metal pan on the hob or a baking tin in the oven, it quickly heats up and transfers heat energy to the food inside the pan. It does this by the process of conduction. Metal is a very good conductor of heat. This is because of its atomic structure. The atoms that make up metals are tightly packed together in a lattice. As the heat energy from the hob is transferred into the pan, it makes the metal atoms start to vibrate. As they vibrate, they pass on the heat energy to other atoms nearby, and they pass it on to others and so on. This is why if you put a metal spoon into a pan of boiling water, it will gradually heat up until it is too hot for you to hold. Metals are very good and efficient conductors of heat compared to other materials such as ceramics and glass. It's important for a pan to have a well-made, flat and strong base so that it stays in close contact with a hob and allows the heat energy to conduct through it evenly. Poor quality pans may warp because their base is too thin, which means that heat will not be transferred evenly. Some materials, such as wood, some plastics and thick materials such as cotton and wool, are poor conductors of heat. They are called heat insulators and are used in a variety of ways to prevent us from burning ourselves when we're cooking. For example, pan handles are often made of plastic or wood so that they're comfortable to hold. Some pans have metal handles which are hollow inside, so the air they contain prevents the metal from becoming too hot as air is a heat insulator. Whatever material the handle is made from, it's important to remember to position pan handles away from the direct heat from the hob. Subject to heat like this, any material will eventually become too hot to hold. Music